free. Well, Free Talk Live boldly goes on radio pro- radio stations where the vast majority of people disagree with us. And that's fine. You mm-hmm. can disagree. We open up the phone lines at 8, 855-450-FREE right. free for you to call in and make cogent points. Yeah, he I said- am going to, however, reject the notion that Free Talk Live does what it does for the money. Because you would continue doing this if I left it's and true. took the advertisers with I me. I would. I it do is it. BS from start yeah. to finish. <laughs> if the gentleman believes that, he's full of crap. Yeah. Now, he probably believes it. I, I shouldn't say full of crap. He is mistaken. Mm. And that's yeah, it. Yeah, he's wrong about that. You're right. I mean, this is – and you know, Mark, they say in the business that you're not supposed to do radio from an ideologically sort of driven standpoint. And I think that's generally probably a true statement. Um, but you know we're doing something that's a little bit different here with Free Talk Live because our ideology is not represented in uh, in talk radio. I mean, I guess you know if if every host on radio was a principled libertarian, then yeah, I mean we wouldn't really have as much of uh, the, you know whatever clout we have because it would be harder. It would have been harder for us to get into the business. We would and, have never gone anywhere. Yeah, and differentiate ourselves from uh, the rest of the Free pack. Talk Live has ranked the 42, 42nd most important radio program in America because not because of its size. By because, Talkers Magazine, right? By Talkers Magazine, we're on one hundred and fifty something stations across the country. By no means are we the largest show in America. I wouldn't even say we're second tier. I mean, no, right? And I wouldn't even uh, you know it's. Not because of our listener quantity, because we're not on the biggest radio stations in America either. It's because of the way we went about um, creating our business, and it's about the position that we take on issues. Our position is unique. We didn't it even is- have an advertiser for like the first what four years of the show, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We uh, we, oh, did two to oh, six. we did it as a hobby. We did it as a hobby at that point, yeah. but um, a full time hobby. <laughs> it's un- and it's unusual the way that we go about doing these things. And if you know you can't handle hearing a message that is different than what you want to hear, you're not really ready for talk radio. You're not ready for adulthood, and you're not ready for conversation. Let's talk.